so I'm gonna start writing in you again. And I'm gonna write this down now because you should write down wishes to make them come true. Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. This week on Walking Dead, we found out what happened to the rest of the prison, including the rest of the governor's people. One major character came back in a super surprise moment, and we got a teaser for the next area that they're all making their way to. Quick shout out to my weekly giveaway. If you're finding me for the first time, each week in my Walking Dead review videos, I pick one random subscriber from the comments to give a $20 Amazon gift card to. I announce the winner in the Q&A videos that I do associated with this on Monday nights. All you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment, but if you have a specific question that you want me to include in that Q&A video, just write it in the comments. Careful for spoilers from episode 10 if you haven't seen it yet, but I'm gonna start with my top five moments and then I'll do my review. So, number five, Beth and Daryl's extended camping trip. Their whole extended scene was a lot of fun. Comic book readers will remember that for a brief moment they did hook up, but seeing as the show messes with a lot of those minor details, I'm not expecting a lot to happen there. Even Daryl's previous relationship with Carol kind of got pushed to the side just a little bit. Pookie. Number four, Tyrese reveals that he has baby Judith. This was a huge WTF moment. Everyone had been wondering what happened to that car seat. Did baby Judith get eaten? Did someone grab her? We finally found out. I was so happy and so relieved. Everybody give each other a giant high five. We can all breathe a sigh of relief now. Baby Judith is not dead. Number three, Maggie loses her shit looking for Glenn. There are so many Tumblr gifs right now of Maggie going crazy. And after this episode, there will be several new ones. I can only imagine what their children will end up being like whenever they grow up someday. I feel like that's a bit of a spoiler though for my prediction that they'll both survive the season. But if one of them does have to go, I think Maggie will be the one. Lauren Cohan does such an amazing job of selling anguish and desperation though. I would hate to see her leave the show this season. They did try to keep faking us out, making us think that Glenn was on the bus, but because we had seen the teaser from last week, that moment had essentially been spoiled. So it did take me out of the scene just a little bit, but Lauren Cohan was so amazing. Number two, Abraham's group to the rescue took him long enough. We knew that they were coming at the end of the last year, the characters that is, but we didn't know which episode they'd debut in or which group would run into them. I think that it's great that it was Tara. Obviously Glenn is out cold, so he'll meet them later, but this gives Tara the opportunity to start fresh. She was so hung up on the idea of redemption, and Glenn did this really amazing job of explaining the difference between wants and needs, given the fact that they need to find the rest of the survivors pronto. I do think that her story for the rest of the season will be all about redemption though. I am looking forward to her getting some really awesome moments. And my number one moment, no surprise here, Carol appears out of nowhere with baby Judith, Lizzie and Mika. There were a lot of WTF moments, but Carol coming back this early and pulling off such a big save was definitely my favorite. I think of Carol's entrance as being like a reverse Batman. Like instead of disappearing whenever you turn around, she just magically appears. I love that look on her face whenever she saw that Tyrese recognized that she was there. She doesn't know whether or not he knows about Karen. I'm expecting him to find out soon, but it seems like for now, all will be well between them. Okay, so honorable mention in this episode goes to Lizzie and Mika. Normally, I do not like children on intense drama shows like Walking Dead, but they were amazing. Lizzie is so hardcore now that watching her try to fill Carol's shoes was a lot of fun. I feel like a lot of her maturation happened off screen. We really only saw her getting yelled at by Carol, and then during the prison plague, she just kind of tuned everything out and went dead inside. And then cut to the prison attack where she's gunning people down in cold blood without a second thought. I can only imagine what her teenage years are going to be like. I hope that the show goes on that long and she stays on the show. But now it's your turn. Let me know what was your favorite moment from the episode and do you think that Abraham's group will head for the sanctuary too because it seems like everyone else is headed there. Just to reiterate, the new characters are Abraham, Rosita, and Eugene. I cannot wait to see what dynamic they add to the show, as well as how the other characters interact with them. Right now, it's really just Tara and Glenn. Overall, I really liked the episode. It was another huge shift from the Carl Driffin episode last week. I gave that episode an A, and I feel like I have to give this episode at least an A-. The only issue in using the entire ensemble is, is that you don't get as many chances to develop characters. Glenn is definitely the exception this time though. He's a character that you're really used to thinking of as a loner, so why wouldn't he show up alone after the prison fight? I love that he helped Tara out. I can't wait to see how she tries to redeem herself for the rest of the season. She's like the new Lizzie on the show now, small and helpless, but on the path to becoming a badass. I also thought the way they constructed the story was a lot of fun. All of the different groups started out from the same moment in time, and things just branched out from there. Each of their stories branched out separately. That's why we kept seeing the same locations during different periods in time. I definitely want that sign for my room though. Warning, hitchhikers may be escaping inmates. 
Like I said, I'm announcing this week's giveaway winner in my Q&A video tomorrow night. Be sure to subscribe to get that. Right now, click here for last week's Walking Dead episode and click here for my latest Game of Thrones trailer breakdown. They just posted a new video and there are dragons everywhere. Thank you so much, you guys. I'll see you tomorrow. High fives.